Hello and welcome to hashtag food and more. It's been quite some time that I posted videos on my channel since I was occupied with couple of things. Now that I am back, I am hoping to post videos regularly. With that hope, let's start with today's video. Recently, my entire family recovered from a viral fever which triggered the need of having an organized medicine cabinet. So let's see how I have organized our medicine cabinet. It is important to choose the appropriate storage which is easily accessible by adults and at the same time out of reach for small kids. I've chosen this cabinet which is in my living room. It has a magnetic catcher which holds the door intact ensuring kids wouldn't be able to open it on their own. Before organizing any cabinet, it is necessary to sort, segregate and purge and also group them as per the requirement. This cabinet has two shelves. The first shelf has all the basic or the emergency medicines like first aid and paracetamols. However, let's go through and see what I have kept in the first shelf. This is the first aid box which holds thermometer along with first aid medications and ointments. Behind the first aid box, I've kept the steamer along with its attachments. Ensure it is in the working condition. This is sectional container and I find it very convenient for storing medicines. This holds medicines such as paracetamol, ORS, Eno, Band-Aid and tummy bugs. Band-Aid is kept here instead of first aid box as sometimes it's only the band-aid we need and not the entire first aid kit. If I am sick, I would expect my husband to get me a medicine without bothering me. This labeling makes it convenient. This box which is kept behind is named as unsorted medicine. In scenarios where I am unable to segregate the medicines and put it back in their respective places are kept in this container. That way it helps me to maintain an organized cabinet. Over here is the nebulizer and below that I have kept the attachments and medicines required for nebulization. Along with this, I also have an oximeter here. Vix vapor up is kept right here so that we don't have to fiddle around when needed. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, grouping of medications plays a major role in organizing and maintaining. These are neatly labeled as per the content in the basket. That way it becomes easy to put back the things in its respective places after use. These kind of organizers come very handy while organizing any place. Here is the pain relief spray. Check the expiry dates while sorting the medicines. It is important to discard the expired ones. According to me, the medicines are the only thing which we dispose of without feeling guilty for not being used. Periodical sorting and purging of the medicine is an at most important task to avoid accidental consumption of medicines which are passed by its expiry dates. That's all for today. If you found this video interesting, do share it with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting video. Till then, take care, stay safe and stay healthy.